Can my brother call you? You challenge him. Why your message is deleted? By whom? I don't know why this message is deleted. Post again, uh, LH. I'm not sure who deleted your message. It says message is deleted. Did you delete yourself? Well, I am really, my voice is tired. I'm supposed to go. But if your brother is want to talk to me, all right. I can talk to him maybe for 15, 20 minutes. Well, if you want to call, he can text me now. Otherwise, soon I'm leaving. It's already midnight, after midnight. And my voice is getting tired. What about maybe tomorrow, if I go live tomorrow or the day after? Or let him, let him do it now, let us see. I can, you know, extend for some time. Let him text me right now. All right, we have somebody. Why do you say the Quran confirm your book when it clearly confirm the Injil, which is the book given to Jesus? Is that your brother, the one who want to call me? Or this is somebody else? My friend, I mean, I find what you just said is the most, I don't, I don't want to be rude for you, but the Injil is the name of the book which is written by John. So if Allah is God, and Allah, he claimed that Allah, he sent his religion, his book, to Isa, and Isa was sent to the Jews. Let me call you. Give me a second. Let me close some browsers. So this is the gentleman who said his brother want to talk to me. He's the brother. Let us call him, even though my voice is tired. <coughs> I think you can tell. But we will talk for some time. Maybe we can help this gentleman. Hello? Can you mute uh, YouTube, please? I gotta turn this down. Can you mute YouTube? Mom, mute the TV. Can you mute YouTube, please? Okay. Hello? Mute YouTube, not your Skype. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I do hear you. Okay, yeah, YouTube is muted, everything's muted. All right, give me the question so people, they can hear. First, welcome. I see your brother. I see that you, somebody told me he is your brother, and he already, yes. he is a Christian, he left Islam, correct? Yes. Okay, and you are still a Muslim, right? Yes. Welcome, my friend. Let me welcome you, and I appreciate you to call me. Go ahead. What do you want to say to me? So the question was, why? So I'm I'm familiar with where in the Quran it says we must confirm the books um, prior. Oh. My question is, if the Quran makes it apparent, and you can enlighten me, I'm going to come at this with humility and ignorance. But uh, if the Quran mentions that the book that we believe is the Injil was given to Jesus, why would we confirm the book, which is a biography written after the time of Jesus? And as a follow-up, um, I assume that we could believe that we can confirm the words of Jesus within the biography as the Injil, but that's a separate discussion. So that's my question. Well, my if friend, in your text in, in Skype, you mentioned to me the word Injil, correct? Yes. Okay, what Injil mean? Do you know? Just I, it played as I, I know nothing because I'm not gonna I'm not expert enough. Well, Injil is a Greek word, and every Christian he called the gospel is the the good news. So, mm -hmm. if Allah, if Allah, he sent a book to Isa, was Isa a Greek person? No. So why his book is a Greek book? Injil is a Greek word. This is not Arabic. This is not Arabic. This is not Hebrew. Have nothing to do with Hebrew. So how Allah, remember, in the Quran, it says, 
that Allah he sent uh, he never sent a messenger except in the tongue of his own people correct mm -hmm. all right yeah, yeah that's correct. I read that so so uh, in order for Isa if he sent uh, Isa was sent to who the Jews all right at the time so is it is it logical that Isa sent to the Jews and he gave them a book in Greek uh, it was the book in Greek I'm not aware well this is what Injil is Injil is the name of the book of John which was a Greek book could the word Injil have stemmed from Greek and just no no used? it's a Greek word it's a Greek word it's not it's not a Hebrew it's not Arabic and for us as Arab Christians this is exactly the word we use we say Injil you can ask any Arab we use the word Injil so your prophet yeah. He took the word which the Christians use in claiming that Allah told him. But this is cannot be. Because you yourself, you just told me that the disciple of Jesus, they wrote the gospel after Jesus, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how the book saying that this is the book Allah sent to Isa while this is a Greek book written after Isa, which means Isa, supposedly he is Jesus, he never wrote a word in that book. Do we agree? Uh, yeah, but couldn't couldn't the you know the Quran being also a book of you know I'm I'm looking at the verse right here. So we never sent any messenger except in the language of his people. Um, and again, I'm I'm playing I'm I'm ignorant here. But couldn't the language the word injil what if, what if it was called something else at the time of Jesus? Couldn't this be the language of well, the people? Remember, the remember the Quran supposedly is written in the Loh al Mahfuz, which is the tablet of Allah before the creation of mankind. So if Allah is the one who called Injil, then the one was given to Isa should be called Injil from the beginning, in the time of Isa. Not in mm -hmm. the time of John or John writing a book and it's called Injil. Because Allah is the one saying, I send down the Injil. So if Allah is the one who sent down the Injil, that means he gave it to John. He did not give it to Isa. But aren't we saying that we never send any messenger except in the language of the people? Not right. Injil isn't necessarily a messenger, nor is, nor is it. It's the name of the book. Okay, but if, if I say to you now, the name mm -hmm. of my book is a Ching Chong Fang Chong, which is Chinese. Does it make sense? But I am a person who speaks to the Arab. If the time, I mean, I'm not aware. If, if the time of the people that we're talking about, the, you know, the previous, the Quran, let's say, the, the time of the Arabs, if we're, if we're talking about, you know, in history, in past tense, to the time of the people currently who are Chinese, and we want to say Ching Chong, Wing Wong, you know. Um, but why you want to name why you want to name your book a Chinese name if the audience are not Chinese? They don't even know how to, they don't know what the title mean. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm not. But so, are you saying we're confirming the book, the New Testament? Well, we we have tens of Quran of verses, not only saying we confirm the Injil because your your opposition is that when the Quran says confirm the Injil or confirm the book, you are saying. Oh, it's confirmed the Injil, but no, the verses in the Quran saying, confirm what is with them. And this is 600 years after Jesus, not six years. So the Christians, right. the Christians in the time of Muhammad, they have a book in their hand. And that book is what between their hand and the Quran confirm it. So if we go as an example, in chapter two, Verse number 89, it says, وَجَاءُهُمْ كِتَابٌ مِنَ إِنْدَ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا مَعَهُمْ And a book came to them from Allah, confirming, actually believing, not confirming, tra correct translation, believing, right. in what they have. Not what they have in the past, what they have. If you change the translator, what translation you like? Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. All right. uh, I don't have a specific one. So, you will see that it confirm what they have with them now. So if the book is changed, this is 600 years, more than 600 years after Jesus. 
confirming the book which is with the Christians. And look, right. but we, see- what we believe to be the Christians and the Jews are those of true Christians and true Jews, which aren't the ones who go against our Unitarian okay. position. Let us say what you are saying is true, but there's no book for Unitarian, never exists. Never have one. This is the angel we have, there's no other ones. Unitarian didn't have a special book, didn't have a different book. Same time, if you read with me here carefully, it says, one come to them, between two brackets, the Jews, a book, the Quran, from Allah, confirming what is with them. You just said, we believe this is talking about the true Christians. Okay. But that means, the Bible in the time of Muhammad was true Bible, correct? Not, no, well, but my point here is that the Injil, when when was it specified that? And I don't have the other verses where um, it speaks about the Injil just being exactly at the time of Jesus. This, If this position was true, then this would just be a contradiction. It wouldn't actually be that it's confirming, you know, the, the biography that was written after. Because my whole point here is just simply... The Injil, regardless of where the name came from, that's an interesting conversation. The Injil, at the end of the day, is the book at the time of Jesus. Obviously, it cannot be at the time of Jesus, written after. Okay, but let us see now. I want you to focus with me with what we we see in the screen. Does it yes. say confirming what is with them? Yes. Okay, this is six hundred years after Jesus. So now, regardless of the name. Regardless the book given to Jesus, not to Jesus, to John, to Peter, it doesn't matter now. The book is with them, is confirmed. Do we agree? Yes, but it's it, we have to look at it from a lens, and this is just my perspective on it. We have to look at it from a lens of when we're talking about Christians or Jews, we're talking about ones who were there the time before the final prophet came, the final book came to confirm and wrap everything together, which would be ones that don't um, uh, negate the Quran's teachings. My, my friend, focus with me. If Muhammad, yes. he, if Muhammad, he confirmed that at his time there's a Christian book, it is correct. Does the verse says that? In his time. It's not talking about in the past. It's confirmed what is with them. What is with them, I, I, I'm sure your English is better than mine. Is that a pre, uh, like a, a present tense or this is past tense? No, I, I know. I'm just in red. Yeah, I don't know. I look at it in retrospect because you, at the you, end of the day, you, because, I mean, you keep saying the end of the day. What end of the day? He's confirming because, because at the end of the day, the Injil is a book that was given to Jesus. Not no a problem, book but no problem, my right? friend. It's let us say Allah, He handed a book to someone. His name is Isa by hand. You can call it whatever you want. But yeah. now, the issue now I'm showing you, the Quran confirming 600 years after Jesus that the book yes. which is with the Christian, you can call them a true Christian, you can call them whatever you want. Still, that means the Bible in the time of Muhammad was still preserved. So that Bible, why Muhammad don't have it? As long as this is the book of God and he confirm it. As long he is a person, well, he is a final a message. Hold on, let, let me finish my uh, sentence. Yeah, yeah. As long he was sent as a final uh, uh, prophet, as you said, shouldn't the final prophet appreciate the book of God, which he just confirmed, and he add the Quran to it? So if now we find that the Bible is ex still exists, and Muhammad, he came as a prophet after the Bible, then he should do what the Christian did. The Christian, they did not throw in the garbage the book of Isaiah and the, and all the prophets or the the book or books of Moses. No, we add them to our book. So if we confirm this book now, whatever that book is named, so Muhammad is of a true prophet, then he should add this confirmed book, which is between their hands. There is no way Muhammad, he is confirming what is with them, but he do not know what is with them. Do I agree? Well, do, would you would you kind of look into the fact that there's a, you know, I'm not a historian, but there's a long history in 1400 years 
right? I mean, I think it's interesting still, but there is a long history. If he did, that's it, that's in the case that he did have the you know perfectly accurate Bible that Islam believes in. Um, but my my whole point here is just that if we see the word Injil, you know, it doesn't talk about um, whatever. If we look at the word Injil. If the Injil is defined in another place as you know X, Y, and Z, and this is saying we're, we're, we're confirming the Injil, but the Injil that we're interpreting it's confirming is something that's different than what the Injil is defined as at a later uh, in different times of the Quran. Then I just see that it has to come down to history. I mean, I don't, okay. I don't see I, this as we are. I will go. I will go with you. I will go with you. Look what you just said. Yeah. Based on what you said, isn't it the Quran? Call the people who believe in Jesus that he is son of God. He called them people of the book. The people, there's plenty of sons. We're all sons of God. I mean, no, 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 no. You I, see, when you call me people of the book, you cannot say that my book is corrupt and then you call me the people of the book because then I am not a people of the book. If somebody. You're not. We don't, that's not what we believe. We believe the people of the book do not believe in the Trinity. But you see, the Quran says clearly. That the Christians and the Jews, they believe that the Messiah is the Son of Allah. He called us by Christian. He didn't call yes, us. Absolutely. And why do you why do you call the rest of you know people uh, ourselves, me and you? We're the, we're the Son of God too, right? This would just confirm that He is human. No, no. What what uh, what 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 what, what, human, what you just said? You said me and this, you. This would confirm that He is nothing but a complete mortal and just complete human. Okay, and just a but hold on, my friend. Why you are mixing things up? I'm trying to. Uh, to go with you, you said mm -hmm. you said that uh, when the book is confirmed, you are talking about true Christians, okay? And I ask you now, who is the one is called Christians? Is the people of the book mean the Christian and Jews? You said yes, but you meant that this is the true Christians, correct? That would that would be the only explanation for this. Yes. Okay, but how then your God Allah, He called us people of the book. That we are the one who believe in Jesus, Son of God. But my point is, there's my friend, my friend, my friend. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest with you. There is not a single verse in the Quran saying there is a true Christians and there is false Christians. He called us always Christians or 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 Jews. There's no false. There's no that, true. That would confirm. That would confirm that the the word in the Quran is the true word, because if if uh, Muhammad came. And he wrote the Quran to start his cult, then he would be saying there are true Christians and there's not true Christians. Basically saying, well, the true Christians are all gone, and now you have to follow me. That would be this is just confirming that Allah doesn't look at this and say, Well, there's there's fake Christians called Buddhists, right? If you're following what I'm saying. Here's here's what I'm saying, right? We could we could take this two routes. So we could say the route of Muhammad had the perfect perfectly reserved Bible that, you know, Muslims believe in, the Injil, at the time. And then afterwards, history, you know, corrupted it, right? Okay, um, let us, let us make it simple. Let's make yeah. it simple. Let's make it simple. Was the Torah, the Torah, was it corrupt yeah. in the time of Muhammad or was not? Uh, I have no clue. I'm not aware. So only the Injil is corrupt? Perhaps the Torah is was corrupted. I, I, I'm not okay. too sure. But here's here's all I can say. But let me show you something. I will, I will. Ha I have a surprise for you. When your Quran speak about corruption, never mention the gospel. It mentioned the Torah. It's speaking about the Jews. Says you harifun al al kutub, al kalam, and and mawadi. So they are changing the words from their location. He never said, by the way, the book is corrupt. But this is only about the Jews' book, not the Christians. Mm -hmm. And this is the Quran. And actually, it says clearly the Jews. Chapter 4, verse number 46. And if you read the interpretation, you will see, it says that one Jew, he put his finger in the top of a word, which is not really corruption. If I put my finger over a word in a book, so supposedly you will not see it. Is that corruption? No. So this is the story. Look what your prophet is saying. This is chapter mm -hmm. 4, verse number 46. This is the only time speaking about corruption. But the story is clearly saying there's no corruption. The guy, he just put his finger over the word. So here it says, from among those who are Jews, 
are some who displace words from their right places and say, we hear your words, Muhammad, and we disobey. So look here. If we check the story, nobody changed words from their location. He just placed his finger over it. Number two, do you agree with Muhammad that the one who changed words from their location is doing corruption? Do I? Yeah. Changing the words? No, it's replacing just... Read with me carefully, as it says. You're this, just covering a word, right? Displace, displace words yeah. from their right places. Do you agree with that? If this is what we call corruption. Um, I mean, yes. Okay, but the whole Quran then is a corruption. Because if I ask you right now, what is the first verse Muhammad he received from Allah? Can you help me? Are you sure? But are you are you mentioning that they're not in uh, chronological order? Well, this is a change of the location. If Allah gave it to you, verse number one, verse number two, verse number three, and you just agree with me that the one who changed their location, how in the world I will make verse number one, verse I will make it a chapter number ninety six. So go back to the, go back to the, uh, the number the up there, the one that was green. The one what? I think I think there's a delay. Go back to the to the verse about displacing words, please. Okay. So I'm saying, uh, if I change the location and you agree with me, you say this is corruption. Not necessarily, because no, you said that a second ago. No, not the location. It's displacing words away from the right place. Okay. So if are you, you saying are, if I if I if I take a sentence and I put it in different place, is that a corruption? That would be displacing words away from the right place. Is that a corruption or not? Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, it would be corruption. Okay, let us, me and you, agree in the corruption. What corruption is, is to change what God gave us. We do not keep it as it is. Do we agree? Yeah, that would be corrupting the text, yes. All right. So, if I go right now in the Quran, and I read for you a verse, and you tell me what happened here. It says... <clears throat> That this day, today, I completed your religion for you. I completed my favor upon you, completed your religion for you, and I accepted Islam for you as a religion. This is the verse, according to Muslims, Muhammad, he received at the end of his life. Mm -hmm. How in the world it become in chapter 5, verse number 3? Read carefully with me. Yeah. This day... This day, you know, when we say this day, we are talking about timing, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now by displacing the location of the verse, we change the whole meaning because now anyone who read this, he will think when this verse came in the chapter of Al-Ma'idah, Islam is complete. So all the chapters after that, they are fake because Islam is complete. Read carefully. This day, uh, I, I have perfected your religion. So Islam is per being perfect. This day, I mm -hmm. have perfected for you, your religion, completed my favor upon you, and chosen for you Islam as your religion. This is, can be accepted only if this is at the end, the last statement in the book. Do we agree? No. No, but this is what the Muslim says. They says yes. Well, this is... This you see, is, again, you see, hold on, hold on. You see, it's up yeah, to you. Yeah. It's up to you. Like, you know, it's like you are, you are the one who decision. You decide not the religion. <laughs> but your religion says, but your religion says that this is the last verse Prophet Muhammad received. Yeah, but it doesn't... It, it, what, what we're mentioning here, what you said, was that we're displacing sentences. This is an ayah. This is a structure. It's no, this is, this is a change. The whole meaning, because now I changed... Do you see the word this day? If I say, if today, yeah. if today is December 9th, and I say to you, this day I completed your religion for you. And today is December 9. And then I come to you tomorrow and I say, okay, I have more uh, verses for you. But yesterday you told me you completed the religion for me. Islam is complete. There's no, no more need for more. Muhammad is the final prophet according to Muslims. And today the message is complete. Well, I would say two things about this. Mm -hmm. I would say, number one, at the top of each page in the Quran, there's not a date. 
Second of all, this is mentioning afterwards, after the, the where we have perfected the religion. It's saying, um, you know, things about what you do after we perfect a religion, if you sin or whatever of that sort. So at the end of the day, this ayah, I mean, this is only a part of the ayah. From what I could see, I would assume, well, this ayah isn't to be like, okay, this is the conclusion of the Quran, and this is like the ending of the story. Mm-hmm. I would see this as, this, uh, this is, this right, the thing that you have highlighted right here, is n- kind of context to the rest of the ayah. Uh-huh. And then at the same time, it's, I mean, not, the whole thing's not in chronological uh, chronological order, and there are no dates at the top. It's not a journal entry. Uh, That's how I, I and see. once again, I'm not here, I'm, I'm just saying this. Okay, is okay, I, I, will, I will go with you. So if you are reading sure. a book, if you are reading a book, I wrote yes. many books. So now if I say to you, in page number five in my book, thank you for reading my book, the book is finished. And then I continue writing chapters. Don't I look stupid for you? What's the point of writing a book that's fiction, non-fiction, anything of the sort? What Versus fiction? I'm not talking about fiction now. Listen, be, I'm saying to this you... Is, this is a book that's meant in, to be a message and a law and a guidance. What message? Okay, we will go to the message so we can laugh. But look, if I say to you, in the beginning, in, in the first a few pages, after reading a few pages from my book, and then yeah. I have 400 pages list, left, but in page number five I say, the book is completed, my book now is perfect, thank you for reading, goodbye. That's what it says. Today... Is this what it says? Is yeah. this what it says? Or is it that this day I have perfected the religion, etc., etc. But as, you know... As how as how the religion is him. perfect, how the religion is perfect, and he keep giving us more orders for the, lot, for, for, because, the for the coming yeah. 20 years. Listen, so now my religion is perfected, and now I keep receiving uh, uh, to tell you how to pray, to tell you how to do jihad, to tell you how to fast... Uh, and I, I Ramadan, there's no Ramadan, Ramadan yet. This is chapter 5. So if this is a verse confirming that Islam became perfect to you this day, speaking of time, not more to come, then everything come after it is a fabrication. Otherwise, we have to accept what the Muslims say, that this is a verse given to Muhammad at the end of his life. And then when they organized the Quran, they decide to insert it here, which doesn't make sense. So now look what happened. Because the Muslim, they did not keep it as Allah gave it to them, as Muhammad claimed it's coming from Allah. And you have no right to change it, because if corruption is a changing, if Allah gave it to you at the end, you keep it at the end. If Allah okay, gave it I, to you in the beginning, yeah. you put it at the beginning. But Allah did not give it to you in the beginning. So who are you? To change the location, are you fixing Allah problem? Are you correcting Allah order? I have a question for you. Are you, um, what was the other thing we were talking? About? So, are you, are you, right now, are you challenging the point of the Quran being written in chronological order, or are you challenging the point of? It, I, I forgot the other piece of that question, but are you challenging the point that? It's just generally in chronological order? My or, friend, oh yeah, or, I'm or, showing or you, you I don't care about the, the whole Quran as a book doesn't make sense, but I am showing you that the Quran is, doesn't make sense because whatever you want to say, it's an order or not, this is not a verse according to Muslim was not given here. So who is the one who made decision? The Quran collected after Muhammad's death. And Uthman, the most famous Quran, is Uthman, which is the one we are reading right now. So now Uthman and the Muslims, they decide to insert this verse here. But isn't it, this is exactly what corruption is? If God gave it to you, if God, he says, one, two, three, four, who are you who gave you the authority to put four before five or after five or after six? Who is the one give you the authority to put what it was in the number one to put it at the end. So remember the Quran says, those who displace words from their locations. But this is what the Muslims do. This is not what the Bible says. So and this, once even, again, are you, yeah, are, are you are you challenging the point of it being in chronological order? No, or no, no, I'm not challenging that. I'm showing you that this is, a, this is not a book received. I'm just showing you the book which Allah, he said. place. Huh? So the, the, the ayah was that words are displaced in not the right place. 
If but this, but this is what corruption is, is it changing what, how Allah gave it to you? If Allah gave it to me in such a way, who am I, who gave me the authority to take this verse? Obviously this verse was given with other verses. Who gave me the authority to take it from here, put it there? Am I making a makeup? Is that a decoration? Is that a furniture? I can put the chair here. If this is the book of Allah and we respect the book of God, then nobody have the right to change the word of God. So what this verse proved to us that the word of God, Muslims, they're saying it's preserved. It's not because you must then play with it. And the same happened <coughs> when Muhammad received the chapter of uh, uh, Iqra, you know, Bismi Rabbik uh, uh, and uh, al -Alaq, sorry. And uh, he said to him, read, uh, that is number one. Who is the one have the authority? Like did the Muslim find out that Allah should not give it to us first one, he should give it last one. So if this is not corruption, what corruption? Same time, you mentioned to me that this book is a message. Let me ask you in front of everybody. Can you tell me what is the message of Islam? Yeah, but first, I think this is a weak argument because there's a lot of context in this ayah, number one. And then number two, what, what, what is the contact? What is the contact? It says, it says, if you don't eat pork, this is Islam now. Islam don't eat pork. It's completed now. So if I make a verse now saying, don't eat falafel, Islam is perfect for you. What does it have to do with perfection of religion? Religion is about what to eat. No, I'm, I'm saying that this is, there's context to this ayah. This is not saying, okay, this is the end of the Quran. And then we're you going keep saying context, ayah. my friend, what the context It says clearly no, no, in front saying, of you. I'm saying if you see the highlighted part you have, yeah. If you had just that highlighted part and it said, this is, uh, this is, I perfected the religion and this is the end of the book. Which is not saying it's saying other things in the same ayah and i have another i have a second part to this but if it was just that highlighted part and then it moved on i would say you have a case here but there is no case here and then number two you're what, talking what do you about mean what do you mean place. what do you mean move on there there is there is there is more than a hundred uh, uh, chapters after that so those no, that's, are that's my those, point those, it's not just saying this is the end of the book no no uh, you see the, if this is the last verse is the end of the book this is mean the book is correct are you listening? This is the this last. Is this this, is the according, the according to Muslims, this is the last verse Muhammad he received. So this is a verse should be at the last page, at the last line. Today, today, it's about timing. I perfected the origin for you. So here the position is a stupid position. Why? Because as you see, he keep talking, he keep giving command, he keep teaching. So how I perfected the religion for you, and then I have thousands of verses coming after it how it's perfect today but we keep talking and we keep giving verses either it's perfected and we are done or it's not done yet so we give you more so you you you, you look like you are not listening this verse i am but is the last like the argument here is, is the last the, verse in the quran yes it is by, na it seems by like, nature it seems by like, history yes. Huh? Your argument here is just the fact that it's in chronological order. I'm not the right person to debate on this. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not I'm talking about it's chronological. About I'm not talking about chronological order. I'm saying there is a change. That's all. There is a change. So now me and you, we have to agree that somebody took verses without the authority from Allah and put it here. We believe, it, we believe everything has the authority, uh, is under the okay, authority. Okay, give, give, me, give me the one who gave the command to change it. Go ahead. I'm listening. Who is the I'm one? Not, I'm not a theologist. I'm not no, aware. Isn't it of okay? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it the Quran collected after Muhammad's death? Yeah. Okay. So Muhammad is dead now. So how it, it is it possible that Muhammad he came from the grave? He told Uthman he put it there. Even Muhammad he have no right to change it because he's just a prophet. He is just a messenger, and the messenger his duty is not to change the message, but to deliver the message as it is. So as long we prove that this is, was not what Allah gave, that means the Quran cannot be valid. If we can find one verse is not what it is, then the rest, and now actually we have hundreds of verses, none of them can, can be from God. But I will go with you. Forget about all of this. You said to me, you keep saying, Muhammad, he came with the message. Yeah. Is this the message? Don't eat pork? This is, this is a, this is a law by God. This is a, uh, a, a guidance yes don't eat pork is a guidance and that is the message so islam is about eating pork and, and and drinking camel urine and that's it islam is complete 
No, no one ever said that. That's that's. So what the connection between eating pork in the verse and completing the message? It's just talking. I mean, I don't. Let's read the whole thing. So it's just saying. Read the whole know, thing. Go ahead. Read, read, read the whole thing. It says it's forbidden for you to eat this food and this food and this food and this food. It's about food. This is a fair. I mean, it's just. It's just. Yeah, I mean, what you're comparing, you're, you're saying this was randomly displaced in an in a ayah about, you know, the uh, baths for him who's hungry, he can eat the pork, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Yeah, but is what does this have saying? to do, what this have to do with completing the message? Like you see, if the verse saying, worship Allah alone, and that today I, I say, okay, you know what, this is the message, it's about worshiping Allah alone. But look what it's talking, talking about falafel hummus. So how a verse about making sandwiches and food and recipe has to do with completing this day, your religion for you. The religion is not about a food. It's about God. Who is more important, eating pork or God? Who is more important, what you can eat or what who, who to worship? So here you notice that this verse is a place in a very silly place because if this is a, this is a very important verse today, I completed my favor. So the favor of God is completed. Okay, so we put it here and in a verse talking about what? About kitchen. Okay, I mean, this is, it, it, it doesn't disprove Islam in any way. It's just, okay. it's just an ayah that's now, put together. The, the, me the, message, you, the you... message of Islam is what? Submission to God. Is what? Submitting to God. That's not, That's false. Because the message okay. of Islam is to submit to Muhammad, not to Allah. 